Praise the Lord, welcome to Life in the Word. Yes. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. I have to my left. Minister Praise the Lord. Please Amen. like, share, subscribe, Life in the Word. We're excited to yes. be here on Life yes. in the Word. Yes. Amen. We've been talking about the great wealth transfer. Uh, it's been such a great teacher all week yes. long. Uh, being encouraged, building mm -hmm. our faith, yes. uh, believing God to do some miraculous things yes. for God's people in the last days. Yes. Amen. We're not begging yes. for the downfall of rich. That's but right. we are back. We're, we're, we're crying out to God that He gives us what belongs to us. Yes, amen. That we will get whatever the spoil mm -hmm. <laughs> that is left over from the rich because they Come misuse on. what misuse. God called them to use yes. as good stewards and distribute it and mm -hmm. give it and build up God's kingdom and bless others, but they took advantage of it. Yes, yes. So God will send judgment, and this is where the believers will not get the transfer of God. Amen. 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 We're looking at Luke chapter 6 verse 24. It says, But woe, judgment is coming to you who are rich and place your what? Your faith in possession mm -hmm. while remaining spiritually impoverished for you are already receiving your comfort in full and there is nothing left to be awarded to you. Yes. And look at this here. When you look at 24, it says, But woe, judgment is coming to the who? The rich. And they place their faith in what? Possessions. Possessions. While remaining spiritually impoverished. So look at it. So it's a dual thing here that needs to take place. They can't just have the riches, but they're spiritually impoverished. When we look at the word impoverished, it says the pride of strength and vitality. Right? Poverty stricken. Yes, yes. Destitute, indignant, needy. Right? So we look at their spiritual... Uh, life that's impoverished, mm -hmm. right? And why is it impoverished? It's because for you already receiving your comfort in full. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wow. So they don't have any need to rich for spiritual things. Come on. They have no need to trust God. No. They have no need to seek God. No. They have no need to be in relationship with the Lord yes. and walk with the God day to day and trust the Lord yes. and lean. Come on and lean on to Him. Yeah. They don't have no need. They don't have no need to acknowledge God. So they're spiritually impoverished because they are living a comfortable and Come full on. life here on earth because of their possessions. See, Come and this on. is why you can't get too comfortable. Come on. Although you have the things, mm -hmm. although you have the big house, and although you have the big comfy couch. Come on, you got the long mirror. <laughs> Come you on, got mirror. The three pools. <laughs> you got 20 cars. Come on, come on, come on. But you still can't be too comfortable. Yes. Come on. The celebrity's comfortable. Yes, All right, if you're a celebrity and you're watching, you're comfortable. Yes. yes. Pray in the Lord. You're comfortable. <laughs> you have no need no for need God. No need for God, yes. You don't trust Him. And your spirit, when the last time you pray, ask the, ask the rich when the last they pray for God to provide. They don't ask the Lord to provide no more. Yes, yes. Because they feel like they provide. Uh-huh. Come on. They become the God. Yes. Come on. When the last time they thank the Lord for putting a meal on the table, they could they feel they do. Yes, yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. Teach it, yes. Right? So they're spiritually impoverished, receiving their comfort in full. There's nothing left to be awarded to them. So there's also with the rich, they have so much. What else can you get? Mm -hmm. You're fully rewarded in this life. Because there's only a limited mm -hmm. amount of resource that you can receive on yes, this earth yes, to say that you that you were got everything that yes. you could possibly want. Yeah. How much things do you feel like you need on this earth to feel like you're living a full and complete life? Come on now. Mm -hmm. So God said because you have all these things, mm -hmm. you're full. Yes. Ordinate. You're rewarded. Good right? So, but woe to you who are well fed and gorged and, uh, and now for you, you'll be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now and join the life of self-indulgence. Come on. For you will mourn and weep and deeply long for God. Mm. So we see that the riches, Ooh. there's a there's going to be a judgment. And then when that judgment comes, there will be a deep longing mm. for God. Come on. We have to have that longing for God. I don't care how much you have. Yes. Come there on. has to be a longing for the Lord. You have to. There has to be a longing, a deep longing for Him. Yes, yes. God, I don't want to be comfortable on this earth. God, yeah. I thank you that you're giving me everything I need for myself, my family, for those around me. 
But God, I want that deep longing still yes, there. Yes, yes. Well, I need you every day. Every minute. Come oh, on, Lord. I want you to say something. That's good. You have to have that deep longing. I remember the prophet says, act like you, even if God bless you, act like you don't have it. Yes. Always go back to the place that you need God for everything. And you know that deep longing, you need you need that deep longing. You need to, to give God what is needed. Yes. The rich don't care about God, as you said. That's serious. Because now you have me thinking. When last they really prayed to God? When last they said, Thank you, Lord Jesus? Yes. When last they, you go around and take a survey? They, most of the rich people you, you talk to, or people you talk to, you know what they say? Oh, when my mother was alive, or when I was a little girl or a little boy, or I remember this and that. that they remember things from the past, but we in the present. They're not giving right. God. They're not giving God the praise. Right. They don't have that deep love like how oh, the body of Christ has it. Right. Or the children of God has it. They don't. They think they're their own God. So if they think they're their own God, they're not studying God. Right. You understand? They didn't remember what God brought them from, mm -hmm. because I know some of them when they first started off, they wanted the, they wanted God to bless them. They prayed, but they forgot. Right. They put God in the back burner and their money and their things become God. Yes. So because he said they became waters. And when person is water, you go up in your house, they got stuff from years to go. Yes. Nothing else could fit, but they still want more. Yes. Nothing else could have a space, but they still want more. Right. And that's how their heart is. Their heart belongs to the enemy because that's who they, they go by, what they could see, what they could right. touch. What they can taste, and they want to see things happen. You know, it reminds me like doubting Thomas when they tell him Jesus raised from him. He didn't believe. Mm -hmm. He wanted to touch to make sure yes, that, was, that sure. was Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's have some people who has that quality mentality like that. I believe what I could see and, and touch. I don't believe there's a God. I'm my own God because I got up and I went, I went to work mm -hmm. and I invested in whatever. But they don't know it's God did that. Yes. Mm -hmm. For them to be a, a distributor to people, right. you know, to give on to people. And that's a dangerous thing. Yes. And people say they want to be rich. Maybe God don't want some people to be, as you said, now everybody's going to be rich, but well off. Right. Because maybe if you become rich, you might end up being just like these people who yes. God talk about. Yes. And that's a dangerous place that's to be. That's a dangerous place when, you, you, when your security is in possessions and things, uh, fame, fortune, yeah. recognition. Not so much so for God. We only do. We use God to, uh -huh. to, to act like that's yes. You know, mm -hmm. that's what you know. We we think we were doing it for God, yes. but it's for you. Yes, yes. You know, and it's not to say that God can't use your talent, mm -hmm. and He can't make you get uh, bring Him glory at the same yes, time. Yes, yes. It's possible. Yes. But at the same time, now too, there's different when you find your security in the yes. riches. Come on. Just like the uh, rich young you, uh, rich young ruler. Uh -huh. I'm looking at. We look at his life and he asks, how can you inherit the kingdom of God? Uh -huh. Lord says, sell all you have. Yeah. Sell all you have to the poor. That don't, those that don't have enough, give it, give, give it to yeah. them. Yeah, couldn't have do that. He couldn't do it. Mm. He couldn't do it. Because his money was his God. Yeah. His security was in his riches. Mm. And it showed you that the security, they don't have any view to eternal life. Yeah, that's good. No They'll view. lose... They'll gain an earthly security, yes. but lose a heavenly security. My God. A Ooh. spiritual security. Thanks to the Lord. Help somebody today. Because a spiritual security yeah. is an eternal security. Yes. Mm. Mm. This earthly thing here that we're experiencing is temporal. Yes, that's going. It's going away. Mm -hmm. It's fleeting. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yeah. And we find ourselves loving it more than we love God. Lord, Mr. Talk, this is real. But Lord, the strength of what for me here, I believe in what, as I'm here, that I will yes. enjoy what you have for me. Yes. But I will trust it more than you. Yes, that's good. Come on. Come on. Lord, I want to experience the goodness. I want to experience every promise. Yes. Lord, I want to have enough for me, my family, my friends, mm -hmm. those that God, you call me to bless. I want to have mm -hmm. enough to do enough. something great for you. Come on. Enough. But Lord, even when I have it, that won't be my security. That's right. You still will be my security. Yes, hallelujah. Because I know where I'm going after this yes, life is God. over. There's eternal security. Yes. Amen. Amen. But we're going to leave it here. Amen. We pray the word bless you. Yes. Did something great bless for you me. today. Come on. Amen. We're going to have our message call and bring someone up to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If the word bless you on today and you are one of those people we are talking about, it's never too late to turn your mind. 
turn your heart and say, and repent and say, God, you blessed me so much, I forgot where it came from. It's never too late to get it right with God. And it's never too late to, to face God for the things you understand that you forgot about. And for the people who really need God and out there who, who's hurt and who's broken, it don't take nothing but just confession to God. All you gotta say is, Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you died and you rose on the third day. I acknowledge my sins and my transgressions. Come into my heart, Holy Spirit, and that's all it takes. It don't take nothing, but it's freely come to God. And God will bless you and welcome to the kingdom of heaven. Yes, amen. We pray the Lord bless you again. We pray that uh, you ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. Yes. And that you may walk with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. um, and he may baptize you with fresh fire. Fresh fire. Amen. Um, and you will live a true life, transforming, yes. transforming life for the Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Uh, tune in to everything Mount Zion. Please like, share uh, Mount Zion YouTube channel and Facebook page. We have Bible study on Monday nights yeah. at 7 p.m. Amen. Amen. And also Tuesday night and Friday nights we have uh, Word and Prayer. Yes, Lord. Amen. At 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, so please tune in to everything in Mount Zion all week long. And then Sundays Come at on 10 a.m. service. Come on. Amen. And we know uh, it's always a blast. Yes. On those days. Yes. Amen. And to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. So if you can't stop in, please just tune in. It's yes. going to bless your life. It was a pleasure being here today yes. on Life in the Word. My name again is Minister Manuel Renee Jr. That's my life. Minister Bazan. Amen. Please remember Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord.